Hey, I'm Spoony Chad, and recently I made a Messerschmitt Mi-262, the first fully operational jet fighter. It was used by the Germans toward the end of World War II, and I think it's pretty cool. And today I'm going to be sending it to Leith, because why the heck not, you know? Um, here's the rocket I'm going to be using to get it to orbit and then to Leith. It's a bit unwieldy, has a giant fairing stuck on the end of it. <laughs> but it'll do the job. Uh, anyways, though, if you want to skip the trip, there will be a uh, timestamp somewhere on the screen around here, and uh, that'll be for the Lathe arrival. And uh, uh, you can also use the chapter thingies to skip around the video, get the specific points. I'll put one for like every major milestone in the video. Uh, for everyone else, please enjoy me absolutely sucking at efficient launches. <laughs> I'll be brute forcing my way all the way to Lathe as I always do. I tried to get a cool stage separation shot here, but I wasn't pointing prograde, so... <laughs> this one turned out cool, though. Look at that. Um, and then this one turned out really cool. This is me lighting the engines for the uh, orbital uh, circularization burn. And there it goes. Very cinematic. And we're in orbit. <laughs> so, uh, right here I'm using a mod called Astrogator. Uh, it just sets up the uh, transfer uh, maneuvers for you. Uh, I mean, I can do it myself. It just saves a lot of time. A lot of time. And it helps with the more tricky planets because I have several planet packs that provide like an analog for most bodies in uh, the real solar system. So some of them are a bit tricky and it helps. You may notice here that the, uh, the craft as I'm going in and out of shots here is a little bit wonky and weird looking. And the, the nerve uh, engine is angled at a really funny angle. Um, that's because uh, it's mounted to the bottom of the Messerschmitt. That, right there, you can see it. And um, th the center of mass is completely off. That's the transfer stage. And the center of mass is just completely off with it. So I angled the engine to point toward the center of mass and uh, keep it from just rolling through space. There it is. Uh, pretty weird looking, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, here's me, uh, just setting up the fine-tune burn to get me in a good encounter with, a uh, Jewel, so I can, uh, efficiently, uh, burn into its orbit. <laughs> Capture burn, that's what that's called. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the, uh, Spear of Influence, and, uh, try to get a cool shot of, uh, Jewel approaching. It turned out oh kinda okay. <laughs> Jeb's just casually been up there for uh probably like a year at this point. <laughs> a year or two. <laughs> and here I am uh, pointing retrograde and then turning on the engine for the retrograde uh, capture burn. There's a really pretty shot of a uh, lathe rising over Jewel and in here in a minute you'll get to see uh, Jewel and like rising over top of Leith uh, you'll see it's a really cool shot I just love the way that I think it's scatter uh, makes Jewel look when you get up close to it you can see the scattering and like sunsets in the atmosphere it's really pretty here I am uh, completely botching an encounter with the uh, Leith until it just magically <laughs> I, I just magically get a good one. <laughs> There's Jeb. I don't know if that's a mod or what that I've got, but it's uh, Alt-C to get him to pop up in the cockpit like that. But it's absolutely hilarious to watch his facial expressions during uh, uh, time warp and stuff like that. But here we are at Lathe. And uh, Lathe is looking pretty darn good. Um... Here I am just bringing the periapsis down until it's actually in the atmosphere because I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to uh, do a capture burn. And then this, this shot, mm. I'll just let it speak for itself. Look at that. Thank you. 
So what I'm doing here is uh, like half capture burn, half arrow breaking into lathe. Uh, like I said, it's just brute forcing my way there. I just wanted to send the plane there and then fly it around. <laughs> Look at that. So there's a uh, there's Jeb all cozy, ready for a. Uh, it's not really re-entry if you never exited in the first place, so it's like entry. Um, so he's ready for entry. <laughs> um, and here in a bit, yeah. Here in a bit, you'll actually will actually be back in daylight where you can see stuff going on. There we go. And uh, I'm just gonna turn retrograde and uh, try to. Uh, burn a little bit I guess and uh, burn off any extra speed that I have because uh, I didn't really design the measurement to uh, <laughs> to withstand re-entry uh, it's just it's just a plane that I built I built this plane a long time ago with tweak skill actually and uh, procedural parts so there's the uh, stage uh, transfer stage getting coupled and we're pointing in the frontward plane direction that you're supposed to go in if you're a plane and uh, anyway though I built it before and I wanted to send it to the lathe, but I did, didn't have the skill set then to do something like that. So uh, it's just kind of been on the back burner of my mind for a while because it's like a t year or two ago. And uh, so it's kind of cool to finally get to do this. The reason I was wobbling here and I didn't realize it at the time was I was uh, I still had it pointing retrograde, hold retrograde um, for the burn. You could see it there, but I didn't realize that and I was very confused tweaking around with the authority limiter trying to figure out why the heck I was wobbling <laughs> so it was pretty funny and here you can see uh, me flying through those beautiful beautiful eve clouds on lathe that doesn't sound right because Eve's a planet, but the Eve mod clouds. Um, I don't have parallax. You'll, you'll see as I come to the surface, I, I don't have parallax, and there's a reason for that. To have parallax, uh, you also have to have a uh, pretty beefy computer to run parallax, scatter, and Eve. I can run one, well, two of those because I'm running Eve and a scatter, but I can just, I can run parallax by itself is the point. But once I add in scatter and Eve, it, it it it's it's not happening it's not happening um so i just chose scatter and eve because i'd much rather have these like like that look at that that just looks nice i'd much rather have that than just have the uh, terrain scatters that uh parallax has so as much as a uh, parallax lathe looks stunning um it doesn't look as good when you don't have scatter so i just chose scatter and eve um so here I am trying to find a landing spot on this little island. Um, he's just having a ball. Look at him go. And uh, here we finally get some jet engine on here. Nice. Um, so I'm going to try to find a little landing spot to take a little break and uh, land Jeb. And figure out what the heck I'm going to do now that I'm on land. Because <laughs> here I am. We finally made it here with a uh, World War II jet fighter. The only one kind of only widely used one at least from what I understand so uh, the, this this landing is a bit tricky uh, I had to figure out the uh, the landing gear I had to uh, adjust the uh, spring strength on them and stuff because it doesn't work quite the same as on Kerbin uh, because uh, lathe has slightly lighter gravity I'm pretty sure um, for whatever reason though uh, it's a pretty tricky little landing here A little bouncy, but I nailed it. Yeah, there's me happy. <laughs> Look at Jeff, he's happy too. We're all happy. Um, so now I take a little break in real life after this, and I'm like thinking about my life decisions, and I've put a uh, replica of a Nazi plane on lathe. Uh, what am I doing, and what am I going to do now? <laughs> and so I decide. I'm going to try to circumnavigate the entire planet. So, uh, with my fiance, I try to add up the, uh, 
delta V requirements, the uh, range requirements for a trip around Lathe, and I get very excited thinking that I had enough range in this for a trip around Lathe, but I made the mistake of ignoring uh, drag losses because it's something I can't really easily calculate. So <laughs> it told me I had enough to almost do it twice, but it ended up being, uh, well, you'll see. So now I'm going to do a little music video of my filled circumnavigation. <laughs> 